animal cells versus plant cells. Both of these types of cells are eukaryotic cells as opposed to bacteria or prokaryotes, meaning they are comprised of membrane-bound organelles, such as the plasma membrane, endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, a nucleus, and a Golgi apparatus, among others. But animal and plant cells differ in many ways, which directly relate to their structure and function as organisms. First, plant cells have a cell wall made of cellulose, while animal cells do not. This is because the cell wall helps to maintain rigidity in plant cells who are struggling to survive. They need direct sunlight to survive for the most part and require this structure to help maintain rigidity as it grows taller. Animal cells do not directly require the sun directly, I should say. They do require the sun indirectly, but do not directly require the sun, and so therefore require actual movement to find food, and therefore they do not have a cell wall to permit more fluidity in movement. Next, plants have structures called chloroplasts. They look green here because of their pigment chlorophyll they contain. Chloroplasts help plants undergo a process called photosynthesis, which help um, plant cells survive and create sugar from the sunlight. Animal cells do not have chloroplasts, again, because they need to consume food to eat. They must break down the food that they eat for energy. They cannot create their own energy. And last, plant cells have large vacuoles. You'll notice this large vacuole here in a plant cell and it's used to store a great deal of water in plant cells. This helps the plant maintain rigidity again and a balance of nutrients. Animal cells only require small vacuoles, conversely. To help the animal cells out with cell division, they have what's called centrioles and centrosomes, and these cells also sometimes have cilia, these tiny hairs, laying on the outside of the plasma membrane. They also sometimes have a flagellum to aid in movement, such as with sperm cells who need to move towards an, an ovum to reproduce, or um, for example, in uh, long columnar cells in the small intestine with, that have cilia to absorb nutrients. So many of these um, animal cells have what we call of these hair-like structures to help in movement and in nutrient absorb absorption, sensory detection, and things like that. So remember that the key differences in plant and animal cells are that plant cells have a cell wall, chloroplasts for photosynthesis, and large vacuoles to help it remain rigid, while animal cells do not. Hopefully, you will also recall why. Take a closer look with a microscope and see for yourself.